bit better road position compared to Hell you. Hell up, it's a tough day for you. So it was good uh, in the morning, morning low, but the afternoon things, you know, turned to the rust. What happened? Yeah, we, we broke the gearbox. But, uh, the gearbox exploded completely, actually. We, we lost all the gears. I mean, oh, I guess the main shaft broke yeah, inside of it. So, so yeah, it went to four wheel drive, uh, front wheel drive first, and then we carried on a couple of hundred meters, and then it stopped completely. So, uh, I, mean, I tried to climb up the hill, but I couldn't. So. It was a very lucky, uh, lucky day for the guy. Uh, of course, we had too much retirement and problems for the team. Uh, how do we do this? It's just proof that we haven't done enough our homework, I think. Uh, well, no, I think Oit's retirement is nothing to, to relate it on that actually, but but mine is. Um, yeah, it's been the, let's say, the, the worst rally for Hyundai all the four years now in a row, and still it keeps being the, the, the worst rally. So. I don't know. Uh, maybe we should drive a lot of lot slower to, to keep the car in one piece. Uh, but then, in the other hand, then we have no chance to fight with any any other competitors. So I guess that's not also the way to go. We should build a, build a stronger car. I guess we're gonna change the gearbox and we go tomorrow morning to to have fun. Thanks for that. a good day for you, relatively good for you. Uh, the last stage you took uh, second place from uh, uh, Takamoto. How's it been? Just a recap of the whole day. Yeah, the day has been, uh, of course, not as, as good as we would have liked. Uh, we were struggling a bit for speed, especially this morning. Um, struggling a bit with the balance of the car and the feeling. Uh, of course, our road position wouldn't have helped either. But in the afternoon, um, some small tweaks to the car um, left us with a, a bit of a better feeling at least. Um, so, yeah, all in all, it's not been a bad day. But, uh, of course, I'm uh, sorry for the guys who, who had trouble. Uh, it's been a smooth ride for you guys, I'm talking yeah. about the Toyotas, but it's not been very, you know, a good uh, day for uh, Hyundai. Yeah. Earlier on you complained about something to do with the control of the car. Has that been sorted and how are things right now? No, I think, uh, you know, overall uh, the, the car is not, not bad, don't get me wrong, but of course we were struggling a few bits with uh, some some issues with the balance. Um, for sure we made some small steps, but it's always a challenge here when you have such a, a high ride height. Um, it's probably at the maximum range that the car is designed to work, so it's hard to get something that feels really uh, nice and, and racy, let's say. So, um, yeah, uh, it's very difficult to get a, a perfect car on this type of event, but uh, the main thing is that we, we have a car that's competitive and, uh, and strong. Clearly we are ahead, uh, what's the strategy for tomorrow? Uh, just to focus on our drive, uh, to be honest, the guys behind are, are only a handful of seconds behind, so that's not gonna gonna change much in in the outlook in terms of how long there is to go in this rally and, and how tough the day is ahead tomorrow. So just focus on doing the best we can. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. How has it been? Uh, the whole day? It has been really nice, um, tough conditions, but uh, I think we really did a good job uh, pushing hard, but keeping also the car and, and the tires in one piece. You've been getting a lot of uh, you know, time, so many seconds, stage by stage. You've sort of become the master of safari. Uh, it's too early to say that, but for sure today, today we did a good job. Again, you can very reliable, uh, not as compared to Hyundai. Uh, what are some of the things that people will be looking forward to? Um, tomorrow will be the longest day. I think it's going to be even more difficult than today because if, if some rain comes, um, the conditions are so much more unpredictable. You just try to keep the car on the road, let's say you try to do your best, but still anything can happen, so it's, it's still a long way to go. So we'll flatter tomorrow again, or a no, bit slow in the mm -hmm. stages? I think we try to keep the same pace, but without any mistakes. Thank you. Robert. Thank you. Cheers. Hello. Hello. Very, you know, unfortunate for you guys. And the piece was there. You had a very fast car from the onset. But in Cuba, yeah, it's it was in the day that you were expecting, was it? 
no, you never expect to, to lose two cars in one day and in, in one loop, but uh, it's uh, two, uh, two good rallies. I mean, uh, it's Monte Carlo and, and Sweden with two wins, so uh, it, uh, we have to accept that uh, Yeah, here we we're in a bit of a bad luck and uh, we will you know, work hard, regroup and then come back stronger and, uh, and fight again for, for wins and, and, and but tomorrow, from tomorrow podium for, for Thierry. It's been, uh, you know, sort of a similar story for you guys, just Safari, for the past three editions. Similar problems coming up. Uh, did you do enough uh, to, you know, sort of to be able to get the issues? We would like, but with the rules, uh, you know, with the, the, the current rules and the, the next rules, we, we, we can't change some parts of the car, which, which are mostly the, the cause of our issue. And, and so. We are we are stuck in a, in, a, in a very difficult situation because of the of the homologation rules for you know for the for rally one. What do you think is you know Toyota the edge because we've been very reliable over the years. We've faced similar problems like you guys. What do you think gives them the edge? Yeah, I mean they they they, they prepared properly the this uh, five years period and then. Uh, we did not at that time. I mean, there was not really a, the the right cycle. I mean, the right preparation and the right uh, uh, cycle of, of validation. Well, parts. And, uh, you know, the, the decision came late. There was uh, some changes in rules at that, at that time, which pushed Hyundai to make a wrong choice of a transmission supplier and, uh, and, uh, yeah, and, and, and the concept too. So, but uh, today with the with the rules and the, the next one mainly. We, we, we're stuck in that position. Sorry about that. No, no problem. Team. Thank you.